Hey everyone, Ryan Mulligan here with the Mulligan Royalty Group, and this is another episode of our Monday Market Update. Um, actually just got back from a 14-day Europe tour, so if I look a little tired or, or sound groggy, um, it's because I am. Um, we just came in um, a few hours ago, I guess one o'clock this morning, so um, a bit of a, um, a late night, long travel day, but we were able to see... Uh, Quite a bit. We actually saw, um, what did we see? Naples in Italy, Ravello slash the Amalfi Coast um, in Italy, Rome, Italy. Then we jumped up to Berlin, Germany, and then ended in Paris, France. So part of that was with uh, family, which was incredible. It was a great time. Um, and it was my first time in Europe. Uh, so I will absolutely go back. I loved it. I love uh, the way of life over there. The food is incredible and much different than here. But here we are back to the grind and I will jump into the numbers here. So uh, new listings for the last seven days, we're at 210, um, down a little bit from the week before at 232. Uh, conditional sales, about the same as last week or the week before, sorry, uh, 77 compared to 78. Sold pendings, um, 88 last in the last seven days compared to 86 the week before. So basically the same. And then bright price decreases, um, not far off from the week before. Uh, last seven days was 73 and uh, the week before that was 64. So pretty consistent other than the listings being down, but we're seeing the new listings kind of jump up and down uh, week over week. So um, August can be a you know, either a really busy month or it can be a bit slower. I mean, this year, as far as the whole real estate market in general, sales are down. So, um, but we also, you know, uh, it's back to somewhat normal uh, in comparison to, you know, the pandemic real estate market we uh, we went through for a couple of years. So, um, yeah, fall market typically starts, you know, mid-September-ish, depending on, you uh, on what's going on. Um, you know, families are back to routine. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens with the, the fall market interest rate um, announcements in September and, and October. So uh, lots to see, but uh, you know, we're still pretty much even um, from, you know, the, the July we just had to July of 2023. So we haven't really gained a lot in pricing um, as far as an average sale price um, year over year comparing the, you know, uh, two months, um, July this year and July last year. But, you know, we're still, we are down, you know, about 20% from the peak of the market, which was February of 2022. So lots to gain back, but um, hey, this is still a great market. So um, I'll leave it at that. Um, I appreciate your time. Again, my name is Ryan Mulligan from the Mulligan Realty Group at Remax, and this has been another episode of our Monday Market Update. Have a great week, everybody.